So here we are, we've got our large buckle and our small buckle attached. And what we need to do is put on the pauldron and then make sure that it's fitting the way we want. Um, there's some trickiness to this because we will need to shorten stuff and things will need to get fixed in place, but you don't know what all that looks like until you start. So we'll just go through the messy process of getting a proper fit. So the first thing I do is I kind of put the big strap on and make sure the strap is running all the way across where I intend to wear it. And the interesting part is you don't actually need the holes to make sure the leather is behaving, but you do need to make sure it's not twisted in any way so you know how it's actually gonna lay. So right now, I'm always making sure the smooth side is on the outside of the leather and the coarse side is on the inside of the body. And then when I tighten it down, I'm right here on my stern. And my pauldron's where I want it to be on my shoulder, but what I don't want to do is end up on my sternum. So what I'm going to do is two things. I'm going to look at the curvature here, and then I'm going to shorten it. And I think I'm going to use two rivets for my one inch strap, which means I can put a second one inside the pauldron here. So just knowing this angle, the tape is always helpful. I like the tape. So I'm just going to mark myself and say, okay, this is the way that it joins with my pauldron. And then I can punch one hole and then I can punch the second hole through both pieces. Okay. And then that will shorten it so that the buckle itself isn't resting directly on my sternum. And the interesting part is no matter how I tighten this lower strap, whether I'm going below the breast or above the breast, this component still wants to rest on my sternum, so I know I can cut it shorter, and that's a good thing. So we'll start there. So I've got my angle. I'm going to unsnap my rivet. And then from there, I need to make a hole punch on either side. So I'm going to pick one side and then my second rivet I want to be closer to this rivet to fill that nice space. So I've got one rivet here and I want to put one rivet here and a second rivet here. So I'm going to punch on the outside like so. Right where my tape is, just following that center line. again on the other side. You can punch through the tape if it helps you keep track of things. But now I know that my first hole I don't need so I can trim that off. There we go. And we're going to take a rivet Push it through the back, like so, and then make sure that the next hole lines up and when I do this, it's always a good idea, I always forget this, <laughs> it's always a good idea when you assemble it to do it on the outside so you know what it's going to look like when you do your assembly. So. Um, it's a last minute, oh yeah, put the strap on the outside of the pauldron so you can see what you're doing. So we know that this marker here, let me grab a spare rivet. So we know that this marker here is going to be the spacing and placement that we use on our armor. So we've got our hole, we've got our alignment, spine center. And then when you're ready, the sweep. Okay. So now we have our holes lined up. We can switch our rivets back so the prongs are coming through the backside, through the pauldron. And then we add the caps. Cap one and 
F2. So now we know how to do that thing. And from there we can put the armor back on, making sure that the strap is laying the way we intended. Do another check. There goes your big strap. So if you haven't riveted in place, <laughs> you don't want to pull too hard. And there we go. Uh, oftentimes, temporary hardware just bolts. Uh, I think it's like 632 is the standard bolt size that will fit through all these holes. And you can bolt everything together and really tug on it if you're planning on doing some load-bearing battle in your armor. Okay, so I'm satisfied with this alignment, and then all I have to do is mirror that on the back side of the pauldron. We have tons of strapping material to work with, and a single rivet is sufficient here. It's just a stylistic question of do you want to do a double or not. Um, I like that it'll rotate, so I'm going to leave this a single, but on the front, I'm going to use the double. So now we go to our anvil, and we get to start committing to things. Grab the punch, set it up, and again with the second rivet. And if you have all this excess material and you're not planning on using it, you can just take your leather scissors. And cut away all the excess so that it behaves like a nice short strap. So now we can take our last over here, put it on the anvil. Grab our punch, cut side down, put our mallet. All right, so this is the exciting part because now you have one thing to find. So as you reach behind your back over and over, you start to get a feel for how to keep track of the strap and get the alignment you want. And now that everything is riveted, you can actually pull it taut. So if we're going across the breast, I'm just above the sternum, which is where I want to be, but just shy of my collarbone. And now I'm looking for where that prong intersects with my strap, okay? So you want to make sure that when you're wearing this, if you're going up high across the breast, you know what your upper limit is and you know what your lower limit is. So this is a more comfortable way to wear it, but probably not as practical if you're battling. So what I'll do is I'll mark where my prong is with my silver pen. And that tells you where the ideal tightness is. And because you're making armor fitted to you, it's more important for you to be satisfied with the lengths and then move one or two inches forward and back so you can tighten and loosen it as necessary rather than to try and have this be some fixed dimension that doesn't mean anything to your body. So we're going to go find the prong of our buckle and find the hole punch that will fit that. That's this one right here. Rotate it over. Find our silver mark. Aim for center like so. And do our punch. All right. So once you have that hole punched, that's sort of your, your baseline. So when you go to put the rest of the armor on, there's all this trying on and taking off and trying on, taking off, reaching behind your back. You get really good at it. So I'll just hold that. There we go. Yeah, I always find the texture is a helpful way to orient yourself when you're reaching behind your back. So here we go. There's our single hole. And now you can take advantage of the keeper to hold your strap in place and then just make sure that where your armor fits is comfortable and you're between your sternum and your collarbone. 
Now we're ready to do the arm strap and make sure that we find a buckling point that's good there.